on the scene, dripped in Celine, whole crew shining, call me Mr. Clean, came in from the back, walk right to the front, dancing to the music, smoking on the got the women smiling, punk grilling me, looking all dusty, black force energy, I don't even drink, but the team pop bottles, not here for the beef, but the Glock holes hollows, think I'm cocky, but I think I'm worse, in this flexing, like a Mr. Universe. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bros is our predictions for Zang versus Joyce, the rematch. And, of course, we start off with Ned, the TBE, so he doesn't steal anybody else's predictions. Um, unfortunately, I think Ned's <laughs> – I'm, I'm afraid of what Ned's about to say in his prediction, but go ahead, Ned. Who you got? Yeah. Yo. You already know what it is, man. I love Joe Joyce. This is one of the fans, so shout out to her, yo. We love you. We appreciate you. But I just don't see how I can win this fight, man. I don't. Zang's bigger. I, I don't know who's stronger. The, the, the power is about in the heavyweight. It's a, it takes one punch. But Zang's quicker than this, man. Zang has durability. Joe Joyce is used to be known for durability. Zang, Zang, we we'll call him the Zang or not because he's gonna he has that he's the <laughs> Zang or not is is, is gonna oh, annihilate this no. man. I just see it. I see it happening the same way. Not no knockout, but maybe a stoppage. Maybe where it's like the punishment where Joe Joyce can't just like his timing. Ah, I feel ah, I just sound stupid just saying timing with Joe Joyce because he has none. Like it's just <laughs> hit in the face punch. And you know, I just don't see how Zang, how can you lose Zang Zang uh, uh, expose this man once he'll do it again. I think it's Zang by knockout or a stoppage, ref, referee calling off the fight because he's gonna be punishing this man. We got the new punisher. Welcome to the club, Zang. All right, true dog, Bill. Vernon Forrest got his number. You know what I'm saying? That's how, that's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Remind me of... This reminds me of the fight. <laughs> All right, you didn't need true merchant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I just definitely... I just For some odd reason, I just feel like he can't do nothing with Zane. Zane got his number. I just think that Zane got his number. It's just some fighters sometimes that just got your number, and I think he got his number. It's just every time I think of the situation, I think of Vernon Forrest and uh, Sugar Shane Mosley. All right. All right. G. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Vernon Forrest. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I'm picking Joyce in this fight. You know, I know <laughs> in the first one he, he, he got violated, but – I honestly think he he just didn't bring his A game. And I think for the next go around, you know, I think next week we're going to see, you know, uh, a focused Joyce. He's going to go back to the basics. You know, he's going to keep his hands up this time. And I, I think he's going to knock out Zhang in the later rounds, you know. So he was, you know, he did land some punches in the first fight. You know, so it's not like he's that slow the way Ned was uh, making it seem. You know, so all he has to do, man, is just keep his hands up, weather the storm, and and just the the windows where Zang is sloppy with his his movement, hit him with a counter. You know, like Zang, you know, he when he gets tired, his punches get lazy. That's where Joyce could capitalize. And again, hit him with them counters or throw jabs at the same time. Zang's throwing a jab, and I know Zang may be uh, taller with slightly longer reach. You know that's why he has to utilize head movement and slip those punches. You know, but Joyce could do it, man. So I believe Joyce got this man by knockout, probably by the the eleventh round. What's up, Ned? You really think Joe Joyce can counter? Yeah. He's done it before. You're wilding. You're <laughs> too nerdy. You're just wilding. Yo, yo, nerdy. You crazy, bro. I right, listen. He ain't got no respect. <laughs> this is one of those fights where it's tough because I can see Zang having Joe Joyce's number, 
and I can see Joe Joyce winning the fight. I'm leaning towards, I'm rolling with Juggernaut, the big Juggernaut. You know what I mean? Pause. But that's that's what I'm riding with. Pause on, on this one. I think uh, when I think about the fight, it wasn't he Zane rocked Joyce. He didn't he didn't knock him down. He didn't knock him out, but he did rock him. And Joyce was trying to do what he normally does. He was trying to use the high guard and even just take punches thinking that he could walk through them. But I think he understands now that Zane punches too hard for him to just stand there and and be a punching bag. So I'm expecting more head movement. I'm expecting for him to clinch more. I just think what Joe Joyce needs to be focused on is getting to the later rounds because Zane is known for having a stamina issue. So, yep, he has to move his head. He has to hold when they get in close. Mm-hmm. He he can't stand there in the high guard and let Zang punch him because it's still going to hurt. He mm-hmm. punches that hard. He punches that hard. They call him the Big Bang for a reason. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, uh, Zang is 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 more technical than Joe Joyce. He he he's better technically. So if you get in exchanges with him, and he's faster. So that's a recipe for disaster. So I think Joyce, if anything. Hey. You said what? No, I was just saying. I was like, yeah, and he's and he's faster, and he got pot, and he got power. He got eighty percent KO ratio. Yes, yes, he's he's, he's definitely he he could punch. He's not you not walking through his punches. Yeah, that TKO was he had a TKO win over Joe Joy. He put the yes. paws on. Yeah, and and a lot of it is the 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 scar tissue on the face, and that's what Joe Joyce has to protect because we were talking about it. Even if you have a good beard, the scar tissue. I was Israel Vasquez used to be that way. Yeah, man, the, my man. Used, yeah, and and you I remember like watching. You do, you do like yeah. this. And like, I remember like, him and was it Rafael uh, Marquez. Marquez? Yeah, yeah, they, they used to go out there. Beautiful fight. Yeah, it used to be a great fight, but then Vasquez's face just used to be like, oh my god. I mean, he would take the punches, but mm-hmm. it would be the damage to his face would be so bad. And so that's what I Those try to classic. Those are classics, yeah. bro. Yeah. We always talk about Gotti Ward. We talk about uh Barrera and um Morales, but uh uh Israel and Rafael, those four fights were crazy. Yeah, those were those were the fourth fight, it was just like they knew yeah, they were <laughs> they knew they were at the end. They was just <laughs> they were just sitting there banging. They were like, This is this is probably gonna be my last fight. So let me go in there. But uh no, I think Joyce needs to he needs to be cautious. He needs to move his head. He needs to hold in the clinches. Um, he needs to make it to the later rounds because if he does, I think he has a chance. Even in the fight where he lost, once he once he got to the later rounds, like four or five, he was doing better. He started landing, and that's the thing. Zang is dangerous early. So, if anything, you got to show him the respect of Iron Mike Tyson the first two rounds because the man can punch. I think Joyce knows that now, so I think he'll go in there with a better game plan. And if he if he executes, I think he'll win. But if he doesn't execute the game plan, we'll be right back here talking about what's next for, for, for Joe Joyce. But I still have faith in him, so I'm riding with Joe Joyce. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Please like and subscribe. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. Please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. You know you're rocking with it. It's the Boxing Bros. I feel it in my soul. Can you feel me? Right. It came so cold in my cell on the moon. Oh, yeah.